Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of Bishop Sycamore Icon 9 Training. As we have ourselves an eventful off-season slash autumn season as the team works their way to becoming an absolute powerhouse. So before we start off with any of our games of Autumn Prefecture, Autumn Districts, we've got a couple of upgrades for the team that we have to notice here. Peters has been becoming a little bit better as a pitcher. Haslam has gotten his throwing speed up a lot more. Fields is becoming a lot better at contact hitting. And Easton and Porter have been becoming a lot better at batting as well. Now we are in the month of August as we keep on training, getting our guys to become better players, and we finally get another time of being able to get the scout out to evaluate our players. And this month has gone by pretty fast uh, regarding all of our training and anything else uh, team-wise. Now that we are in September, we have finally hit our autumn prefectures. But first, once again, we're going to be looking over our players. They have been working really hard. They've been trying to get as good as they can possibly be. Fields still working on that contact and power. Uh, Gunnarsson has become a lot more well-rounded in his uh, skills. And then Hosmer has been upgrading a lot. He has been a very solid player for us so far. And then Easton and Porter have stayed where they are as good outfielders. One being a role player and one being a starter. But I have a feeling that they will be um, a lot better in the coming days. Alright, and now that our September has begun, we are finally getting two Autumn Prefectures. And for our first game, we got a lineup of Gunnarsson, Porter, Garfield, Hosmer, Lawrence, Fields, Jankowski, Easton, and Haslam. And our first game going up against Mishima High, ranked D. So this is going to be a solid squad that we will be going up against. So we won't be going through all these games in depth, but I did want to show a few good moments from the team as they had a solid outing against Mishima, getting this 3-0 lead, and then Haslam has started to become a lot better at hitting, and as you see, he gets an RBI single right there. Then we head to the top of the ninth and finish off this game with a final score of 4 to nothing. Our upgrades looking pretty solid for the team, and everybody is just getting better and ready to fight. And now the lineup for our second Prefecture game, Gunnarsson, Porter, Garfield, Lawrence, Murray, Hosmer, Jankowski, Easton, and Haslam. And we will be taking on Aizu for this matchup, who is also ranked at a D, so this will be another great one. And by a great one, I mean a Snorfest as we take home the W 2 to nothing. Nothing really happened this game, so don't worry about it. And we got ourselves some more upgrades on the list. Haslam is able to throw now at 143 kilometers per hour, which is something that is very keen for his upgrades, and I am just loving it for him. Alright, now that our prefectures are over, it is time for the team to get back to training. But we do have some time to get some new equipment and new upgrades for our players. So we got a power bat and a contact bat upgrade from the store. We were also able to secure ourselves a practice game with a pretty decent school. And now it is the month of October and now we've got our new upgrades for our players. Fields now at D contact, which is definitely a good thing to have for the team as we need to get more base runners as much as we can. Gunnarsson also getting some upgrades, ease from contact, power, and speed. And the rest of the team is shaping up pretty well too, with Hosmer having deep power, and Easton and Porter still where they are at. Now, 
for those upgrades that we bought. We were able to use them on two of our players. Uh, Porter got a power bat, and I gave Haslam a contact bat to get his hitting up. But other than that, uh, we had pretty basic training. We also played in our practice game, which we won pretty handily. Didn't really have any big upgrades from any of our players after that practice game. But now is the time where we get set to play in districts. The tournament is ready, and we are set to play our first of two games. And we will be covering them in full as much as we can, but here's the starting lineup. We got Gunnarsson, Porter, Garfield, Lawrence, Murray, Hosmer, Jankowski, Easton, and Haslam. And our first game is going up against Seki Agricultural School, who is ranked at a D. And an early start for Bishop Sycamore in the Sim as they get a 3-run home run to give themselves a 3-0 lead. Now in the 6th inning with a runner at 2nd, Jankowski at the plate. 2-1 count swings and misses 2-2. Hits one into right over the head of the right fielder. And that's going to score a run. Jankowski on his way to 2nd and it is now 4-0 Bishop Sycamore. Now we head into the 7th inning with Gunnarsson leading it off. A 1-1 count early. 1-2 count. Swings and hits one into right center field past the second baseman and right fielder. He's going to be in second base easily with a leadoff double. Now it's Garfield at the plate with one out. Popping Demon Doll, which helps out a lot in these situations. A 1-2 count. Grounded to short. Off his glove. Throws from second. Off of the glove of the first baseman. And now it's runners at the corners. Now a ground ball up the middle, a base hit, past the center fielder, that'll score one. They're going to wave around the other runner and score two, it is now 6-0. Now it's Kyler Murray at the plate, a 1-1 count, swings, hits it into right field, that is going to get off the wall and finish this game with a walk-off double. Bishop Sycamore wins by mercy roll, 7-0. Here is a quick look at the team's upgrade sheet as we get set to play in our second and final district game of the autumn. And the lineup looking very similar to the last lineup. Murray is in a great mood for this game and Haslam still in one of the best moods you could have in this game. And in this game, Bishop Sycamore is taking on Iga Daishi, who is also ranked at a D. We are now in the second inning of a 1-1 game. Runners to the quarters with two outs for Gunderson. Takes the quick 1-1 count, swings and hits it into left field. That's going to score in a run. Gunderson on his way to second, and now we got runners at second and third with two outs. Now it's the pitcher Haslam, who rips the first pitch foul but recaps and hits it into the gap in right center field, scores one run, and it is now 3-1 Bishop Sycamore. The very next batter, Gunnarsson, heading up to the plate. That's first pitch ball, 2-0. He hits it past the second baseman to right field. That'll score in another run. It is now 4-1 Bishop Sycamore. Porter now coming up to plate and hits a squeeze and gets the run to score. It's now 5-1. Now it's Kyler Murray at the plate with runners at first and second. Quick 1-2 count, he hits it into right field, it's going to end the inning. No, it does not, it is dropped by the right fielder, and a run does score, making it 6-1. Now with runners at 2nd and 3rd after a pass ball, Hosmer, an 0-2 count, hits it into right field, another run will score, and it is now 7-1, Bishop Sycamore. We are still in the 4th inning with Jankowski at the plate. He rips it into right field, past the right fielder, another run scores, and it's 8-1, Bishop Sycamore. Now the first year, Easton at the plate, 1-0 count quick, swings and misses, next pitch, pass the pitcher, that's another run scored, Bishop Sycamore up now 9-1. Now it's the pitcher, Haslam at the plate, swings and misses at 2 straight, now with a 1-2 count, rips and rips into left, another run scores, it's 10-1. Now with bases loaded and 2 outs for Porter, quick 0-2, he hits a foul there. And the next pitch rips it into right and hits a grand slam, making it 14-1 to Bishop Sycamore. As Bishop Sycamore 
comes up big. Hosmer on the run on the pop fly, caught at the warning track, and they will win it 14 to one, sweeping districts and going two and zero with two straight mercy rules. And here's the upgrade sheet for the team, looking pretty good as they come off of a huge win in districts, going two and zero, which because of that. They earn their spots in Nationals. We will be covering Nationals in the next video because that would just be too much content for one video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as for that, I'm Lancer, and I will see you next time. Peace.